Okay, so first off, guys, what is buffering? Obviously, most of us know it's it's data trying to load, right? So we need to talk about some ways of how to avoid this. So there's a few things I want to go over here that are absolutely critical to for you to have a better experience with your IPTV uh, service. So obviously, we have to have good internet, right? Let's let's jump into that. So first thing is Wi-Fi speeds, internet speeds, whatever you want to call it, data that's coming in from your ISP to your uh, modem into your router. So if you guys are trying to watch IPTV on 10, 15, maybe even 20 megs of, of data that's coming in from your ISP, it's going to work, but it's not going to work well. So I recommend 40, 50, 60, 100 megs. Now you're thinking, oh, I can't get that. Well, you're probably not going to have a great experience with IPTV then. You're gonna, it's going to work. You might have some more buffering. Um, a lot of people are complaining about, well, they're, you know, this service sucks or this service sucks. It's always buffering. You know, are you finding one that's not? Maybe that's the question. If they're all buffering, you know, maybe maybe it's your internet. I mean, that's that's plain and simple. So if if one service works absolutely great and the other one's buffers nonstop, then yeah, it could be the service. But I've had three, four, five different services that I've tried, and all of them seem to work well. I don't really have much buffering problems. There might be a channel or two here and there that buffers, but overall, they all work well for me. So um, Wi-Fi speeds are absolutely critical. Again, I'm using 60 megs. I'm going to up that probably to 100 megs, but I have nearly zero buffering. So make sure your Wi-Fi is 50, 60, 100 megs, guys. Spend the money for that. You're saving money by canceling your cable bill. So it's absolutely critical that we, we have the best Wi-Fi available. Go get it. Spend a little more money. It's going to be worth it. It's going to help out all across any devices you're using, be your Xbox, uh, your phones, your tablets, your computers, uh, any kind of other streaming things you've got going on, it's going to be better. So Wi-Fi speeds, go get, go upgrade that. It's going to make a million times better. Devices, guys, this is probably another thing that people don't realize. Um, if you're trying to run this off of an older Android box, maybe you've had it for a while, or uh, an older phone, uh, whatever you may be using, you've got to make sure your device can handle um, bringing in this this service. So keep in mind, guys, this Wi-Fi, it, it has to pull that data in real time. So like when you're watching Netflix, that data is already there, right? It'll buffer for a second and then it will load. There's really no way for, for IPTV to, you know, build up the data before it has to produce it out on your onto your screen. So that's why you've got to have that fast internet and you've got to have a fast device that can actually handle the software that, that's using within that uh, product itself. So if, if your device is old, your phone's old, um, if you're using a, a box that maybe only has, you know, one one gig of RAM, maybe that's not gonna cut it, guys. Go find one that has over two gig. It's, you know, sometimes they have three. Definitely spend a little bit more money. I use a Mi Box, um, I love it. I actually just got a, a Fire Stick and it runs just fine on there, so no buffering. So a Fire Stick will work. I would definitely recommend trying to get the better version of whatever you're looking at. So if you're like, man, I would just want to spend, you know, something cheap to get me an Android box to try this out. Spend the 20, 30 bucks more. Go buy a Mi Box from Walmart. They're 65 bucks. You know, instead of buying $40 Amazon box or Android box on Amazon, they're just not worth it. So make sure your device is quality. It's going to work better. I promise you. I had an old Android box. It was buffering all day long. It wouldn't pull in good Wi-Fi. It only gave me a 2.4 uh, speed versus a 5 gigs or 5 gigahertz speed. Um, it just it just matters, guys, when you're talking about the device itself. So make sure you got a good device. Next is maintenance. You've got to do some weekly maintenance on your equipment. You've got to reset your router, reset your modems, clear out the the uh, ISP. Maybe there's some static going on. Maybe some you know bad connections between the two. Clear those out. Make sure you're hard resetting your router. Not, well, not really hard reset, but unplug your device. Let it reset. Let it bring in. And then clear your cache out of your apps that you're using. Okay, when we go back to, to this maintenance, make sure you're not having any apps on these boxes or devices that aren't used. I use my boxes strictly for IPTV streaming. I don't have, I don't use it for games. I don't use it for anything else. This box sits on my uh, entertainment center and it is a cable box, in other words. That's all I use it for. So do your weekly maintenance on these boxes. Clear the cache, restart everything at least once a week, if not more. Always refresh your channels uh, daily to pull everything in fresh. Clear everything out. It's going to work way better if you're doing your weekly maintenance on these things. 
because that, that cache will build up and build up, and then it makes that processing speed slow down because it's trying to process everything, and it's got a bunch of bad data in there or bad storage that it doesn't need to take care of. So um, packet loss. This is something that goes more back to the Internet speeds. Okay, so if, if you're still pinging 60, and you're like, I'm getting, I'm getting some buffering. What's going on? You might want to call your internet company and say, hey, can you do a test? And, and they'll run a test, and then you can ask them, you know, ask them about packet loss. Say, what, it, what is the packet loss percentage coming over? So what that means is if I hand you a dollar bill, a one dollar bill, you receive a dollar bill. If I hand you four quarters, you're still receiving a dollar, right? A dollar worth of money. Now, if I have a handful of pennies and I hand you that, you might drop a few pennies, right? That's called packet loss. So if the internet's pushing through and they're losing a percentage of that packet that's coming through to you, that's important critical data that you need to produce this on the fly live IPTV uh, stream. So if, if some of that, if it's 5%, 10%, 25% is getting lost, that's what's going to slow it down as well. So I, I had this huge problem a couple months ago where I was still, my internet was running low. I was only pinging about 30 at night. And I'm like, why is this, what's going on? They had, they had some bad uh, cords or something they had to replace on the fiber network. And they said, oh, also your packet losses, you're losing 25%. It's like, oh, bingo, there we go. I was losing 25% of my data that was coming in. So my, my IPTV app was trying to produce what was needed, but it couldn't because it was receiving, you know, 75% worth of the, of the data. So it was just, I couldn't even watch anything. So that, luckily they fixed it within a day and it was good to go. But keep that in mind, guys. Packet loss is super important. You've got to make sure there's no static on your on your IP. Uh, make sure things are clean. Make sure if, if something starts to, to be bad, then, uh, you know, it, it could be packet loss. So hopefully your internet's uh, a good pro quality product. So let's review this one more time. Internet speeds. Devices matter, weekly ma maintenance, and the last one is expectations, guys. What are you expecting out of your IPTV? Are you expecting perfection? Yeah, it'd be great to have that, wouldn't it? But honestly, it's probably not going to happen. It is IPTV. It's coming from links on the web. You might find down channels. You might find uh, you know, a little bit of buffering here and there. But overall, if you're doing these things, you should have some pretty good internet uh, TV coming to you. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, that you know there are going to be some issues here and there that come up. So don't think perfection. If you want perfection, go back to your cable, go back to Directv or satellite, and spend you know 100 bucks a month for that. So instead of paying a few bucks here for IPTV service. So guys, and, and ultimately you know speed matters. If if you're trying to run this on a low speed, um, it's just not going to work. If you're you know three, five, eight, ten, maybe even up to 20 megs, you might get it to work for a minute and then it will buffer. Then it will work. And then it will buffer. Then it will work and buffer. But if you're pinging 50, 60 megs. That's where you're going to see uh, way better quality. Less, very, very few spins on that on that circle. So, I mean, if I have it, I may see one or two spins a day for literally one or two seconds, and that's it. And I've had, you know, four or five different products I've used. I, you know, it just never happens. So I'm hearing people complain about, oh, these these guys that always buffers and these guys always buffer. I just, I, I don't, I almost laugh sometimes. I'm like, guys, I don't know what your problem is, man. I mean, it works fine for me. So, anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to talk.